have actual attention. Like, why would you tie yourself into such a sick shit? Like, that's sick. You're literally just like covering yourself in this muck and grime and going down into the pits of it's not I mean despair takes some level of consciousness it's non-consciousness I don't get it I don't get it you know and I'm 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 not trying to sound like a dick I know I'm sounding like a dick I was not I'm not so far removed from those concepts I was pursuing those things even earlier this year I came down back to Texas thinking that I would still try to pursue those things. It wasn't until I'd finally got here and been on the street a co- the streets a couple weeks here in Austin that I was like, okay, hold on. This world is fucked up. Shit's fucked up. I'm starting to see things different. And I just started waking up to all this different stuff because I was willing to. This isn't coming from me. It's already in me. And it's about releasing all of the bullshit that is trying to block me from it, right? That's the point of forgiveness is because it keeps you from your truest power. It's just something that holds you back to not forgive, to have bitterness held against someone, to literally be mad that a girl didn't come fuck you after only talking online for six months so that you are literally going to spend the next 10 years of your life trying to curse her with your entire little coven. That's insane. That's in, there's no logic there. There's no power there. There's no sense of self there. You're not the <laughs> you're not the powerful occultist you think that you are. If those are the things that you're engaged in, and there's nothing wrong with the occult. The occult just means what's hidden. We're in a time where really nothing's hidden anymore to those that are willing to receive and actually open themselves up to it. But because the majority aren't self aware, self actualized, there's plenty that's still hidden. Technically. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. This is how my processing works. I go, uh, it's a roller coaster. I go through, you know, coming at things from as clear of a perspective as possible to getting caught up in my emotions, to coming back and reassessing, to getting back in my emotions a bit again, to leveling out and being like, okay, this is, this is what I got to go off of right now. And that's fine. Everything's a process. That's fine. This is what being a person looks like. Like, I'm not trying to impress people. I'm not trying to promote anything. I'm not trying to act like I'm better than anybody else or that I have anything more than anybody else. I'm eating fucking rice for my birthday meal. This is all I'm going to eat today. It's just rice with some salt. I don't, I, I, and this is, I have one more meal of rice left before I won't be eating for days until somebody buys my art or somebody lets me do their lawn care or somebody lets me, you know, clean their house. I'm applying for all these different positions online. I'm doing all these things. I'm not in some great position, you know, like I, I, I am in no way better than anybody else or more capable of anything than anyone else. In fact, I'm like the, the baseline. I'm like the blueprint of like where things should be, fundamentally and then everybody else should be able to (laughs) do far better you know like i'm shit i ain't much definitely like but it's just that's how lost this world is that's what's so crazy that's why i get frustrated because i'm like i'm a dipshit i'm a dumb fuck like how is it that i have any capacity to do these things when nobody else seems to get this shit like It's crazy. That's how deluded this world is. It's insane. It's insane. The world is insane. Especially this world. It's just like, man. I mean, and America's done this to the rest of the world too, man. That's what's so messed up about it. America deserves everything that's coming to it. The same thing, forgiveness. Like, forgiveness doesn't release consequence. It doesn't, you know, take somebody's karma away. People still have to go through their shit if they've brought shit to other people, even if it was, you know, non-intentional. It's just, that's, that's part of the, that's part of how it works, you know, and it's in how you receive that karma that proves your character. And, um, yeah, 
the majority of people here aren't uh, aren't taking their lickings very well. So I don't expect uh, it to look very, very kind in the near future for the majority in this country. And I look at that as uh, justice being served to the rest of the world for what we've done, you know, and I take full responsibility as much as I can for my roles in those things too, because I was just as lost. I'm still coming out of those things. You know, I'm by no means perfect. I'm by no means out of it. Um, Like I said, I'm not some great example of how to live your life perfectly. I'm a perfect example of how to just be, you know, and it's not easy and it takes steps and it's a constant process. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Guess that's it for now. This is going to take like three hours to upload anyways. So I'll, uh, I'd like to talk about nice things at some point. I'd like to just have nice, positive conversations where I don't get super cunty. Eventually, hopefully, I can get to that. But for now, this is what we're working with. Thanks for listening and watching me eat rice.